we did a BL Touch installation tutorial for our Ender 3 Pro last week, and today we did a tutorial for our CR10 V2. The package inside is a little bit different than our Ender 3 series. We have menu, the screws, the organized tie, the pinboard, the rank, and the touch. The reason we installed today is 3.1. Then we can do the firmware flashing right now. First, you need to prepare a USB cable for yourself that it's not included in the package Go to your desktop, click on the slicer software The firmware refreshing is very simple Select the preference And this one Then click the machine setting Make sure that the setting here is COM3 And 115-200 Next Upload the CR10 V2 firmware you download from our official site That's it After the firmware refreshing, we don't need this end stop anymore so we can remove it Then, we install this BL touch. Here, we have two mounting holes on the side. Screw the BL touch on it. Then, put in the cable at the back, but we need to remove the cover first. We already finished the BL Touch installation, then we can do the bad leveling test. Select the bad leveling. For this common part, it's the same as our Ender 3 pole. For us, it is a little bit high, we can select 10mm to do the adjustment first. Then, select 1mm. You can see that the distance is very appropriate. Here, we have a data A, minor 3 Next, go back to the main menu, select the initialize Then, go to the Z offset, mark down the Z offset data, data B Data A and data B, we have the data C. We wise this offset data directly to be data C.
Finally, go back to the main menu to do the store setting. That's the BL Touch installation we did today on our CR10 V2. If you have any questions, just comment below. Later, we will do more video on our YouTube channel. Tell us what you like. Thanks for watching. Bye!